Joanne Smith. This is lesson three for beginner auto harp players. Now today what we're going to do is we're actually going to start playing the auto harp. And one of the best ways I've found to learn how to play the auto harp is to learn to play a song. And once you start with one song and you learn how to play that song, you move on to another song, learn how to play that, and over time you build up a set of skills because every song is just a little bit different and uh, each one of those songs teaches you a little something about technique. And so that's kind of the way I'm going to approach this. I do read music, but I prefer to teach and to play by ear. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn a tune today called South Wind. And I'm going to have the music playing in the background and we're going to play along with it. And at very first, it's going to be just learning to listen for the chord changes and also learning how to do simple strum patterns. So let's get started. Get your auto harp and I want you to get your finger picks. And if you've been still deciding on what kind to get, that's okay. Just get a thumb pick, whichever one you happen to have at the moment, and a finger pick, whichever one you happen to have at the moment. But just one to start with, okay? Because all we're going to be doing today is doing some very basic strum patterns along with the tune South Wind, okay? So get your auto harp, get your picks, make sure it's in tune. And we're going to be playing uh, this song in the key of F. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started. We have our auto harp and it's in tune and um, you have it in a comfortable position you're holding it comfortably and you're not cradling it like this okay it's not a guitar okay and if you play like this you're going to be getting your your cording arm in a wrong position here that's going to really be tough on your wrist so remember just from the first video just keep it upright keep it kind of this this uh, position here and it's going to be the best for you now for uh, how to learn a song. When I first started playing the auto harp, I had a few little instruction books, but mainly what I wanted to do with it was to learn how to play songs I already knew. So I would remember songs that, that I knew, and then I would try to make them happen on the auto harp. I've always been someone who plays by ear. I can read music, but I prefer to learn to play a song by listening to it. Maybe I've got uh, issues with trying to do too many things at once, but when I'm looking at the page and I'm seeing all these dots and trying to um, see where those are going and, and listening for the chord changes and trying to play at the same time, I guess I, my brain just doesn't handle that that well. But uh, you can play by ear, and I think that's one of the best, intu most intuitive ways to learn how to play the auto harp. The reason is your ear is going to begin telling you when you're playing a song, especially if it's one you're not familiar with, after a couple of times through, you're going to start anticipating and hearing when those chord changes occur. Okay, and so your ear is going to tell you when it's time to look for the other button on the chord or on the chord bar um, contraption here. So this tune that we're going to lear learn is called South Wind. I have a recording of it on my album, uh, Rhythm of the Rain, and it is on CD Baby. You can find a link to it on my website at autoharpist.com. And the name of the tune is South Wind, and it's in the key of F. And if it's in the key of F, that means that you're basically going to need three chords. You're going to need F major, you're going to need B flat major, and you're also going to need C major. And if you look at your auto harp, you're going to find that those three buttons are right next to each other. So it's going to make it really easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch cameras. I'm going to go to a camera that focuses in on the chord bars and the strum pattern that I'm going to be doing. Now I'm going to be playing the music in the background. The first time through, um, I play it four times through in this recording and it's going to be playing in the background. The first time through it's going to be a basic strum. Just one strum with the thumb per measure. Okay. Then on the second time through it's going to be one, two, th three. Okay. So three strokes per measure, all with the thumb. One, two, three, 
one, two, three. Okay, and then the third time it starts through, it's going to be one, two, three, and with the finger. Okay, one, two, three, and. The fourth time through, it's going to be one, two, and three, and. Okay, so get your finger picks, whatever picks you have at the moment. Get a thumb pick and one finger pick because that's all you're going to need right now. Okay, so I'm going to crank up this other camera and we'll see how it goes. Here we go. Okay, well that's lesson number three for beginners on the auto harp. I'm Joanne Smith. If you like what you see and you'd like to help me continue to put out these tutorial videos, visit my website at autoharpist.com and also my Patreon site at patreon.com slash autoharpist and sign up uh, to be in my angel band. Until next time, lesson four for beginners. Thanks for watching. And keep playing that auto harp, keep tuning it, and 
Practice Southwind, and I'll see you later.